Hey you guys, this is Money Bags B coming to you with another video and I just wanted to get into how I was stacking and I, and how I'm stacking at this time. And before we get into this video, I would like all my viewers, can you smash that like, subscribe, and please click that notification button so whenever I post a current video, you will get it. And let me get into it. So Compared to how I was stacking, it was a little bit, it was very cost expensive. Like, I wasn't really saving anything out, out of anything that I was picking up as far as jewelry. When I was trying to stack jewelry, it was like the premiums was extremely high. The carrot wasn't high enough. And it really wasn't anything that I really saw that could really benefit, you know, and I was just trying to find out, like, where can I get the knowledge? And that's when I reached out to my fellow stacking community. And um, I kind of got in tune. That's when I went and got my first pimp's response. I know you can see it's kind of bent up because I didn't know whether it was real or fake. So I just put it through a whole lot of tests. And it came through to be, you know, correct. It just, it just came to be genuine and good. So... Once I left this avenue of stacking, which I still love my jewelry, but I switched it up. And I came over here, and I got my first, I think these are, yeah, one Troy ounce, three nice fine silver. Um, The Indian heads, or American buffaloes, I think that's what they call them. You know, I'm still, I'm still new. This is my first year, you know, um... And just trying to give it all I got. It's crazy because now that I really look at it like. I was really like enjoying the jewelry till I found out that like this is way more shiny and this is, you know, more, more liquidable. Um, and the premium is just really, really just the premiums. Like I sell this back. I'm really not going to get anything unless I sell it to like a third party. The most I get for this is melt. So, it really just boils down to how much I'm putting into it and when I sell it, how much I'm getting out of it. And it wasn't, it's not going to be nothing. <laughs> but, this is what I started off with. This is what I started off with and this is where I'm at now. I'm proud of myself that I took time out to do the research and learn about gold and for those who don't know, this is two and a half grams. Uh, two and a half grams, four nine five Swiss gold. So, yeah, I took time out to educate myself. You know, I know the way that I was going about saving wealth and trying to just, you know, put my money somewhere where I'm comfortable. And this jury just wasn't, just wasn't the path for me. It wasn't the right way. Um, I'm happy that I got myself straight <laughs> with the fellow help of just doing my research. And this is what it's coming to. I, I'm hoping that I'm fortunate to do more videos, you know, so I could post more content and build up my stack. As you see, I got... One Troy ounce for them, which I paid. I paid at, at the time. It was about two months ago. I paid about um I want to say twenty eight dollars, twenty nine dollars for each one. And and it was really my first time because I was looking for these bars. I was really going to get more um, jewelry, but then I, I decided, you know what, let me try something different. Let me jump out the window. Let me go down to, to the Diamond District because I'm inside of New York City, so the Diamond District is huge. You know, everybody's out there. So I took a leap of faith, and I took a chance, and I bumped into a really good person. And um, I went and got my bar first. That same day, I went and got my bar and I was walking down a block, and the dude, I was like, listen, um, 
I want to get something else. I got a little bit more money. I just want to pick up something else. And he said, listen, I have these. He told me straight up, like, he's not going to be able to get rid of these. I'm like, wow, I definitely value these coins. He was like, yeah, I can't get rid of these. But I value it. You know, I look at it different. He was probably looking at it as like another dollar. I'm looking at it like this is my this is my money. So I just wanted to give you all a little insight. You know, it's money bags B, straight out of New York. If you like what I'm saying today, click the like button, subscribe, and hopefully I'll be able to hopefully when things get together, or I could get rid of this jury, I'll come to you with more content on my 